Hello again, or hello if you didn't see the first screencast. This is the second uh, in a two part of um, jQuery tabs for jQueryfordesigners.com. In this example, we are going to be looking at non conventional or non conventional tab markup and how to make tabbing work. Uh, what I call conventional markup is um, a UL containing your list of links and after that would come each tab container and the whole thing wrapped in a single div. In uh, this case I've been asked to look at uh, this this mock-up which has uh, it's a non-live website so if you try and go there it won't, won't work for the minute. Um, it has a UL in a completely separate div to the actual tab containers and in addition one of the tabs or one of the, the li elements doesn't actually act as a tab it's uh, it goes off to a brand new page so it's only these three that should act as tabs and they should tab these blocks of HTML so send a message is this block arrange a game is this block and send a file is this block down here so the jobs we have to do in the jQuery is loop Around all of these elements, these these tab elements, the actual tabbable items, and we're going to check the href against our window dot location. If they match and they have a hash, as you can see at the bottom of the page, the the status bar, then we're going to class that as a tab and we collect those. In this case, for the settings link, it doesn't have it, the URL doesn't match at all, so we're going to ignore it. Um, we're then going to add our click events to those collected tabs, hide all these tabs down here, and filter to show the uh, the one that we just clicked on. And we'll also set up the the class to kind of make it look like it's selected. Okay. So <clears throat> I'll just show you the the align markup. We we have to add some kind of hook so that we can so our jQuery knows where to start. So I've just added class equals tabs. Um, so you can see we've got three links and the fourth one goes off to someone completely different. And this is what we're going to be using. These match directly onto IDs of our tabs. And our tabs. The only prerequisite we've got is our tabs do have to be wrapped in one single container. Um, do they have to? I'm not sure. Actually, we'll see. I'm not sure. Hundred percent sure if they do have to, but it usually helps. Anyway, let's get on with it. So I'm adding jQuery to the page, and this is our on ready function. This is shorthand for. Um, sorry, it's shorthand for this. So they're exactly the same. I'm just lazy, so I prefer to use the shorter one. So job number one. Let's loop around all the uh, the anchors in the tab set. So I'm going to use ul dot tabs. Uh, ul dot tabs dot each. So each allows us to loop around each one. Um, tabs equals an array, yep. And we want to catch the tab containers as well. Yeah, so we're going to loop around each anchor. And we're going to put each anchor that is a real tab into that into this array. And if it's a real tab, we're also going to find its linked tab container and put it in this array. Um, and like I said, we're going to do that by looking at the the href. <clears throat> Alright, if this this is a keyword and uh, it, in this context, within this function this function here, it is the actual element, the a element that we're, we're looking at. So I can do .href um, but I'm actually going to do path name 
equals window.location.pathName. Now I'll double check that that's actually a real variable. So you've got window.location is this, so path name equals thumb slap. Um, we can be more uh, rigid about it, we can actually you know, join the, um, the host and the protocol, but um, just for this demo I'm just going to show you based on the path name. So this the path name, so this the uh, this means that we've got a link that is on this page. We're going to use a hash uh, to find the tab container. So first off, tabs.push this. So I'm adding the link to our list of tabs and tab containers dot push and I'm going to do a jQuery selector for this dot hash. I'm going to just dump this out into the console to make sure that we've got what we want. So I'm expecting this to be three tabs uh, with the appropriate IDs. I've got three tabs, but if you look, um, really what I want is the elements, and they're wrapped in these uh, these braces. I actually mean it's the uh, the jQuery object because um, it treats them as an array. So it's, I've got one array of I've got an array of three items, and those three items are arrays as well. So we're going to do dot get which gives us three items. This can this can be written as as this as well. It doesn't make any difference. So what we've got in the tab containers is a list of elements and not jQuery objects. And the same as tabs, we've got a list of elements and not jQuery objects. So I'm now going to hook my tab events. And because all my links are in tabs, I can just do tabs.click. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is return false, so I'm cancelling the default browser action. So if we make sure that cancel the log tabs, make sure we've actually got the right tabs. And you can see I haven't collected the settings link. So when I do this dot click, I'm not going to attach a click event to this the settings link. And because I've got Sorry, because I've got return false here, this isn't going to do anything. I'm clicking on it and nothing's happening. So let's add some action inside of the, uh, the click event. So the steps we've got are hide all the tabs, show the correct tab that this link is linked to by the hash. And set up the selected class. So hide all the tabs. So we do dollar tab containers dot hide. Give that a test. Yep, they've all vanished and it's good. And we're gonna show the one that this is linked to. I can do this as tab containers. But I can do this as this dot hash dot show and because at this point in the code this is the anchor element the hash will match the ID of the div so if we look at this anchor element and we look at the DOM we can see that the hash here arrange game is because it starts with a hash, it matches a, uh, a CSS selector. So it matches um, wherever it is this ID, which is great. We can get a bit fancy. We can do filter this dot hash dot show, and that does the same job for us. because we're taking these tab containers and we're filtering and we're finding the one that has the ID that matches our, our hash 
I was showing it. So now I've got the tabbing working, we just have to uh, add the or remove the classes and add the classes. So the first thing we do is tabs dot remove class selected and since we're looking at all of them again hmm, I don't know, could you? No, no, I'm not going to do it like this. Um, we're going to move the class and then we're going to do this dot add class selected. And that's it. Settings link still works. The tabbing works. And that's how to apply tabbing to a, to a slightly non-conventional bit of markup. Um, have a look at jQueryForDesigners.com. I will probably look at making this a plugin as well and showing you how to do that. It's not a lot of work, but um, it, it might be quite useful because it doesn't rely on the normal kind of structure of HTML. All right, thanks for uh, th thanks for watching.